Okay, so this is a step that I wasn't uh, planning on doing, but we're basically going to update the firmware of the flight controller. What I have to do is I have to plug this USB cable in whilst pushing a button down on the flight controller. And then on the internet, there's the software that you can get. So, push the button. Lights are on, guys. Nothing's happening. Okay, I hate this button. Why is it so small? Okay, well it didn't work at first. Let me figure out why. Someone suggested I get another cable. Apparently some of these micro USB cables are only for charging and some of them are for data and syncing. So I got a new cable that specifically says transfers data. I'm nervous because if this doesn't work then I don't know what the next step is here. It worked. It worked! It's doing it. It did it! That is so satisfying. So my next test is to see if all the ESCs are connected. So I've charged my battery. Look at that. So this is my quad settings. Hold on, I'm flashing the firmware now. So this is good. All of the lights are flashing. That tells me that they're all connected. They're all connected properly. It says it's complete. Unplug the battery, unplug the USB. Now it's a matter of connecting it to the transmitter, putting propellers on it, and then taking it for a little flight. It might be tomorrow. Okay, so I've been doing some things today. Paired the radio. What I want to do now is see if the motors rotate. Because if they do, then that means all I need to do is put propellers on it and it'll fly. There's this little video about setting an arm switch, which I did. They're spinning. They're spinning. It worked. <laughs> so, I am going to put the propellers on, try and fly it. There it is, finished drone.